Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we we'll bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Benny. Amazing co-anchors, really beautiful, co <laughs> <laughs> intelligent. Do you co want to add the other, the other phrase she's, you've been using to, to say what it is you want and say to me? She said it already. No, not, not not beautiful, not Which amazing. One? What she was saying before in, in trying to get a place, like, you know what I mean? Oh, my broke? <laughs> <laughs> You're broke? Come on, go. It's okay. It's, a te it's temporary. Okay. Mm. That's cool. Temporary. We're making money like moves. Just, just give us a few. Oh, boy. A few on. You know, a few <laughs> months, maybe. <What? laughs> many months, many, many, many months. Mm -hmm. But, mm, you know. It's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. So uh, that you're uh -uh. making moves to get out of, of wherever course. it is of, you are. That's of cool. course. Of course. Okay, yeah. moving on. Bonner Boy meets Kanye West in Paris at his Yeezy fashion show. They hugged each other, smiled, and according to bloggers, they showed respect <laughs> to each other. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this one, though. Why? No, this is it for me, right? Two artists of repute met mm -hmm. at an event, and they exchanged pleasantries. Good thing Kanye recognized Bonner. Bonner Hallelujah. recognized Kanye. Not. And it is what it is. Mm. Bonner, Bonner. Um, we shouldn't downplay who Bonner is in the African continent. And Kanye has his eyes in Africa. I told you he's the best, That's period. It. I mean, um, anyway, so... You know, Kanye has his eyes in Africa. He definitely is familiar with who Bonner Boy is. And so, two celebrities met and they exchanged pleasantries. That's, it's, it's no big deal for me. Um, I, I don't want to start placing anybody above any other because it's an art form. And so what has happened over time is people feel, you know what, well, we can categorize this art form and say this person is better than this person and put them in different categories. And for me, I feel um, the art form is a soul. It's not a category. Hmm. All right, so if people decide to look at it that way, then we'll now say Kanye is bigger than Bonoboy. But in, 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 in art form in itself, there are actually no categories. Nobody's bigger than anybody. They are all sharing the same vortex of what art so is. So Bonoboy has been done it in a... <laughs> So Dalitin is, is, is also, he's also expressing yeah, an art form. He has mm. his own Nobody's following. Yeah. No, no. See, Bonner Boy, he just said, one, you are not the best. Not Everybody the best. is the best. Is the best. <laughs> In what they do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's a very lovely period. I mean, period. The, amazing yeah. that people who appreciate who still follow. He's the kind of person that if, were, if he was a teacher in school, he would give everybody stars. Mm -hmm. Like, you did well, you're great, you're best, you're the best. You're the best. All of you are the best, okay? No one is the first, no one is not last, necessary. no one's bottom. Mm -hmm. So you're saying here, I, I think this is also, like, a big thing because... Um, and Bernard Boy has always been the one to be open about this Ye song that when he released Ye, he had to admit that he was riding on Kanye West's um, Jesus. Ye, Jesus, uh, Ye thing. So especially Spotify um, streamlines, he always, he always gives all that credit to Ye, that people actually were looking for Kanye West and then found Bernard Boy. Yeah, that was actually one of the things that blew, blew him, him finally. Yeah. Yeah. He has, he, that video, there, was a year, there was a year conversation that went on at the end of the mm -hmm. video. They mm -hmm. had some year conversation between Bernard Boy and like, yeah. okay, it's cool. So I, I know that, that at least from, from what we have seen, that, that was an important thing for Bernard Boy in terms of meeting Kanye West. And it was kind of cute. I remember when like watching it and then he tapped his shoulders. I'm gonna be like, be careful, because Kanye West is absent. <laughs> I feel like Kanye West is absent. Why is this? And we've seen. I don't know. It was recently that David o slapped somebody's um, chest because he was. Um, uh, yeah. So I, I don't know. For now, that I feel like when people are interacting with each other and there's like physical contact, I'm always nervous that something might happen or they mm. might not like being touched in that way Just or me if I'm something. Wrong. You, you listen to try to say it was a privilege for Bonobo meeting with Kanye West. Is that what we're trying to say? I think it's an honor, yes, because your your vice versa. You, sh no, no, no. You used privilege. She yeah. used honor. Yeah. Honor, okay, yeah, honor, yes, because things, like yeah. it's vice versa. Bonner Boy is also an artist of repute. In oh Africa. my gosh, please, yeah, you I cannot mean, equate. Like, let's okay, that's let's the point. be real. That's the point. Let's not equate them. Because this because uh, lullaby, both, yeah. all why all in this together tune is not realistic. This is and somebody nobody that paved the way for me too. <laughs> mm, yeah. This is somebody but that is internationally accredited. That is how it feels. I'm just, and I also feel. Like Kanye West is bigger than Bonner Boy. Of course. Are you kidding me? I, I don't want. I don't. Do you think want, that Kanye West, uh, that Bernard Boy, can pull the same crowd? Can you? Kanye West can. Come again. Do you think that Bernard Boy can, can pull, pull the, the same, same crowd. crowd that Kanye West can? Where? Can, Anywhere. Okay, so let's forget about where. I, I, that's can Bernard Boy hold a constant Sunday service mm. with that crowd? That is not a thing. 
That is not what he wants to do. Can he pull a crowd? Any crowd? He's it crowd. doesn't have to in be the so same capacity as Kanye West. Are you kidding I got to, me? No, I don't want to compare. Or that. streams or I'm success. Saying, what I'm or saying now, based like, on this, they are meeting. Bonner met Kanye. Kanye met Bonner. Kiss close, right? That's it. Okay, cool. But yeah, I don't want to start drawing Kanye, lines Kanye or Kanye comparison. Like oh, yeah. Kanye is greater, Bonner is lesser. Okay. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> but the facts will keep staring you at the face whether you like it or not. So you're, moving you're, on you're, to... You're not like your own. That's your problem. Uh, really. He's our own. He's, he's a... Tiwa Tiwa. Kanye is a Tiwa Tiwa from the history of history. Let's not forget that mm. people come from here. I mean, I love Kanye too. That. I mean, that's one of the artists I, I hold in high repute. Kanye is... You've made your point, Okay, Benny. thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> So, Post Malone admits um, difficulty in seeking help for mental health struggles. In an interview, he admits that reasons behind him getting face tattoos were likely to come from a place of insecurity. He's working on seeking professional help for his mental health struggles after realizing his lifelong battle with depression could lead him to an early grave. He reveals he has experienced periods of depression since he was a kid, even though at the time they didn't appear to be connected to any particular occurrence in his mm. life. Mm. I, I gotta give you a post, post Malone, right? Not everybody can come up openly to talk about their mental health and dep um, depression issues. And many times... Not just talking I, about it, also admitting, yeah, admitting that he that, expresses yes. in, in his in part a, yeah. mm. and that he's just, he's cool with that, but he's not cool you with know, sitting with someone yeah. face to face mm. to deal with the issues. And not everybody's yeah. gonna come out and, and admit they're also insecure. So it's, I think it's a step to recovery for me. And every time I see Post Malone, I, I have some bother, like, there was this day was in a club. I mean, there were, there were loads of thousands of dollars that was changed, you know, and it was just passing money around people. You could just tell it was stone cold. You know, the one was looking and like, oh, we're not going to wake up one day and find out that the sad news that this guy is gone. And now that he's admitting and, you know, that he has these issues, I think help should start reaching out to him. Not everybody yeah. is He's also reaching enough, out for help. You know, to yeah. say, you know, I'm insecure. Most of the things I do come from my personal insecurities. People don't even admit the fact that they have insecurity in the first place. So to me, I feel it's a huge step um, to his recovery and whatever it is he's dealing with, um, his childhood will be revisited. They need to revisit his childhood. Many things went wrong in his childhood that probably he was not even privy to. Well, I you mean, I, I, I don't really think so because from this, from this um, particular Instead, at least in his own words, he was even saying that there is no occurrence to why he's like that. Yeah. Um, and we've know. talked about this a he lot of the know. times. Mm, actually, you know, because actually, I say this, actually, right? If no, I, I, I don't, say I don't this, think... let, me, let, me, let me land. I say this to say, right? There was, um, there was, there was um, a health situation that was traced down to kids who grew up in a home where parents were always in physical combat with each other and their inability to express themselves. I understand kids, that, then, Benny, but it's not you know, every yeah. single time that depression is caused by something. something. No, I'm not saying it's so that, time, And that's yeah. what I'm saying, that let's not turn that story into his. But okay. from his words, he is saying that he's just always been like that. And we've talked a lot on this show about not understanding Clinical suicide. Depression. Because some people are just predisposed by DNA, not by an effect or an outside occurrence that they're reacting to. By DNA, they are just more clean. You even find it like an hereditary. Clinical depression. A, 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 yes, a hereditary thing. You find somebody who, 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 who you tell, like, there's a lot of celebrities that I can't remember anyone now that would say, my mother had it. My mother was depressed. And it's different lives, different stories, different issues. You can say this one, the parents were beating each other. The other child, nothing no, nothing was happening, but they still had it. So there is people who are just born to be clinically um, lean towards um, um, clinical depression. depression. But you clinical know depression. we've also established in this table that depression or mental health issues as a whole is not, it's something almost no one has fully understood. Yeah. So it is a big deal. You you still wonder why a person like um, a post Malonda comes from a fairly nice no, family, yeah. normal family Decent. would tell you this has been going on for a very long time, that it's not just now. He's always felt insecure. He's always felt like something was wrong, that he, right. like he was the black sheep, you know? So it, it, it's something, I don't think anyone can fully it's understand deep. it. I mean, what and we and can and actually do is saying, just you know, encourage them to get help yeah. and also try to understand. It's not, we shouldn't always try to relate an occurrence to whatever a person is feeling because, you know, we've also talked about the fact that even people you think they are rich and have everything Thing, mm. um, and others will say, why are you even depressed? You're mm. good, your life is fine. But it doesn't work like that. They have yeah. everything, but they're still swimming in that whatever chemical that is going on in the yeah, head, right? So it's, it's not, it's not just call, about... Call himself ugly, he had a yeah. tattoo his face mm -hmm. because he, he, he didn't want... He wants to look better. But that's, 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 a, that's a deep that's thing, deep, yeah. you know? Yeah. It is.
I hope it gets better. I appreciate I the vulnerability. Think I think for no, me, no, no. getting vulnerability from men is always refreshing because I don't see that very often. Men just come, especially gangster men. You know, there's mm. women, men that are a lot more metrosexual mm. and uh, mm. like, this person is kind of gangster um, and him coming out to really express this much vulnerability is so healthy and so needed and such a breath of fresh air for this 2020 especially. No, blame that on social conditioning so, because they, they um, men to, Yeah, so I'm glad that he's, he's, he's you know, getting been. out of that and I hope, I really hope he gets that help because especially from someone like Dem Lovato that we've seen over, um, over the years facing this thing non-stop, it is a life journey and it's not going to get there tomorrow or mm -hmm. once or mm -hmm. he might have to deal with it for the rest of his life um and i hope he takes cues from people like uh, ed sheeran i know ed sheeran has been one person who has been actively taking actions he lives far away he buys the houses around him <laughs> he does everything he needs to do to protect See, his, his mental, mental state. space yeah all right it's time for a quick break but when we return i have a feeling we have more mental health issues to discuss we'll be right back <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Minimal mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back to Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Olimos pushes for social media change in the wake of Caroline Flake's suicide. Um, she is not allowed to put out. Okay, no. Caroline's um, suicide. He says people should be accountable for what they say online. Mm. I like um, so social media trolls. You yeah. know, again, it's but can 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 we solve stop that? Really? You can't. There's nothing you can do about it except <laughs> we're going to say the entire social media be. Mm. And be, he's trying be, to put the responsibility on. Yeah. You know. Those, the owners of this platform, like. We know their names, Mark, Jack, blah, 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 but can they really stop it? Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's, he needs to understand something that when something bad happens to someone, like when you lose someone, and I've experienced that so many times, and I was saying down in the office newsroom that this week, a lot of people have been dying, and I haven't necessarily felt bad this week, even though I, I know a lot of people have died, and that's just because they haven't affected my space. But last two weeks, I had a friend that died and I couldn't even like function properly. And I think that's what you need to also understand with him is that this person was special to you, but it's not special to everyone. Yeah. Um, and not, not everyone is going to carry your matter that delicately. Like you cannot assume for someone, even if I was close to the person, how I would react to her mourning would be very different from yours. So it's, it's from a good place and I understand it, but it's very unrealistic. You know, I think I just want to take it from the, from the point that people should be accountable for what it is you say to people on social Who's media. Who's holding them because, accountable, though? Um, it's, and how it's, many can well, you hold it's accountable? accountable? Then again, you, you, owe yourself, you owe yourself the duty to, to safeguard yourself also. True. Um, I don't do the blogs. I don't. You will never catch me on the blog because... You have most of the time you have more than half the people that don't know you, who don't have any personal relations with you. They just want to say stuff. I mean, yeah. data is so cheap. Anybody can afford it. Any dumbo out there can afford it. And as long as they can just put yes, their fingers to, I need to, correct something. to, to this, their keyboard. I knew you were going to. They are not usually poor people. I didn't say poor people are not dumbos. Yeah, I'm, I'm data is cheap yeah. and, you know, anybody can not, afford data you can yeah. afford data mm -hmm. 15 hour data mm -hmm. 100 hour data well, you know the, another cheap. thing is that you know. also on social media you find that people actually have second accounts I've noticed that thing a lot <laughs> and then they go to these like second accounts I'll see that there's like funny Anonymous. names mm. and then you can't see they have like maybe 40 following 41 followers like two in, it's not really an active account and then they say everything that they need to say that is what the platform is built for I don't know how you so, can so cipher saying, out you know, trolls say, 
groups. You can't, you can't end trolling. You can't, it's like saying you want to put a stop to bullying. There, as long as the world remains, there will always be bullies. But regardless, I think you know, we should also be able to tell people, at least start from the community we have now, people watching to say, mind what you say to people course. online. Because you think it's just, um, you're trying to be savage, that's the word, right? Your savageness can cause someone to take his or her life. Wherever mm. they are. So but you also just said it now. Who is going to hold them accountable? But I, I think, yeah. I think know, that's just, what Oli was is things. trying to yeah. push out. Yeah. Like, even if it's an unrealistic thing, you can still put that message out there. Yeah. That guys, like, out yes, there. I, I couldn't relate to her death or a lot of other people who have died. But I, you're a human being yeah. and you know how it feels like to lose someone. From so just point have of some empathy. Mm, mm. Um, and that, that message might not, might not have a domino effect that touches everybody's lives, but it could touch one or two people. Yeah. I mean, for me, I haven't really talked about it, but it kind of reminded me that as I'm going on social media, not for her particularly, but it was a reminder, like, just tread carefully. But and maybe not. if everyone starts treading carefully on social media, what would it look like? I, th I, I think social, it would be social fine. Social media for social good, I mean. You mustn't be. A, you I mean, you, 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 you don't think you must be you must, you you must, I think it's just about the world and the life. You don't, don't, have, no, you don't have to be. Have good people you don't have to be toxic people. trolls for social media to be fun. Mm. Exactly. Nah. You have to be creatively savage. Yeah. But then you're you savage. Can be petty. Well, creatively you're, you're, savage. You're still savage. <laughs> that is it. But <laughs> if you have to be um, savage on <clears throat> on death matters, I feel like you're it's not. just like you know, for every joke that we think is funny. Somebody it is else. not funny to some really people. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's just it. There's, and nothing can be done. <laughs> and it's just the individual. It's just you. I mean, what gets to you, what you allow to get to you. You mm. got to guide yourself. I mean, from all of this. People don't, people on social media street, people ain't got no chills. They don't care what they say to you. Mm. They really don't care. And it's not even you know? just social media, to be honest. I feel like everybody thinks that. It's just that in real life, I wouldn't be able to say it. And on Twitter, I'll be able to just tweet yeah. out that second thought. I can't count how many times people have been crying over Behind serious matters. And I find keys. it funny. And yeah. I cannot help myself. But in physical life, I'll just be like, hold it. Maybe on Twitter, I'll just be able to be like, ah. <laughs> no. So it really depends. No, but yeah. what, what's a word? Spoken rating, they still have their effect on you. Man. Yeah. So we just want to be careful. Just out try there, to I mean, build yourself if you in can, this journey you know. of mm. self discovery, like mm. we mentioned yesterday. All right, moving on to the next story. It is spiritually dangerous to touch your child after having sex with a man. According to ex BB Niger <laughs> housemate Gifty, touching your kids after engaging in sexual intercourse with a man who is not their father is spiritually dangerous. Um, I, I I would like to know what she's reading or what she's smoking <laughs> or what she's Pot. digesting. <laughs> I, I'd like to know where this, source, this is coming from because I, 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 I don't this understand. This is case of but somebody then, just, I, I think it's just, case just, somebody just thin, coming on I think social media. It's just media a thing of hygiene. Just, like when you're done, a thing like, of hygiene. yeah, just for hygiene. <laughs> In case you've got hepatitis, B from, you just know, whatever, your just go wash your hands, and have so a bath. By having your bath yeah. in there, whatever, yeah, whatever then, it is, you will have contacted by mm. the relation. Did, did you notice that she said whether you're single or married? Yeah. So I don't understand how a married woman is supposed Let's to see. be, I don't know. She, she's making a defense for, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, it, yeah. It's interesting so, how uh, people spiritualize um, sex, sex here yeah. it's part of the. I remember even growing up, you have things like spiritual husband having sex in your dream. Like we do that a lot. We fetishize and like spiritualize. No, but African man is fetish. You know, dreams, so the African so. man is mm. fetish. I mean, to some people, I'm sorry, it's just as physical as the as the as the engagement. Of course, as, as pain, as hugging, sorry. as doing a handshake. You know. So I don't know what gift you was trying to say. I don't know if you was trying to be very deep and spiritual, but it it was it's just a whole other yeah. ball that I don't yeah. I don't get it. I, it missed me. me. I didn't. I didn't. It didn't However, hit it. However, like I was saying, from a medical stance and hygiene, <laughs> 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 if you do it, please wash your hands. Oh wow! Have it's, your bath. P. Like we always dirty? say, you pee is first and you shower. Act? Are you supposed it. to be spreading somebody else's? But what if you showered around? before having sex? You already. Yeah. I, mean, I know I'm you shower sure. again after it. having. Uh, like, even, just, even if it was like yeah, 10 a.m. I mean, 4 a.m. Okay. Well. Why are you carrying your child at 4 a.m.? The child is sleeping. So by the time the child is up, I mean, let's move. I think we should move on. <laughs> That's one of the more Let, important okay. conversations, Please. right? Less. Okay. So, media personality Bemi Olateru Olagbegi has started a conversation which we think is quite interesting. She says, the love of your life is a fraud star or scammer and hmm. you just found out. You thought he or she had a successful business, but it's just a clever fund. Um, your partner has no plan to quit. What's your next move? Let's start with the corporate Malia, which is Beniak. <laughs> <laughs> 
But I, I don't know. Is, is this is this is this a sub? Is this personal? It's just a question. Just you know, throwing it out there. Because oh, I know her husband. Okay, so great. Yeah. So yeah. Um, the point is, that there was a period. There was a period of, of dating, right? Or the love of your life. You, you, before before you both of you started going out, you must have known this person to this person to a great extent. I mean, mm -hmm. you must have seen them in their element, what they do or what they don't mm -hmm. do. Remember, there's and a font so, business. No, but this is it. This is it, right? If if you're very, well, I don't know, I, I, I'm not involved. I'm not involved in fraud, so I don't know how much of it you can cover up when you're involved People in it. People can cover a lot. Uh, you, know? you can cover a lot. It's really about. So um, you don't know, and you found out. What it's do quite, you do, Benny? Fortunate. You found it's out your kind of girlfriend. Um, are you going to break up? Yeah. Well, are you saying you're like, are you saying the love of my life? Or yeah. yeah. Am the love I the fraudster? Or she? She's the fraudster. She's the fraudster. She's the fraudster. <laughs> Um, the, the, the size to it, I want to find out what, what exactly the problem is. I want to know why, wait, wait, yeah, why, why, are you, why are you doing this in the first place? Okay, oh my God. And then at the end of the day, I'm sorry, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm going to ask you to discontinue. She's not and planning on discontinuing. She's continue. not planning. And then, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not going to get myself mixed up with you so and get into trouble. So you're going for a divorce? We, we're done, sorry, we're so done. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's, it's, so a, over. it's, it's, it's a over. hard one. Um, yeah, I put hard. myself in the situation. I don't think, to be honest with you, I don't think I'll leave immediately. That, the way I'm wired, I'll probably go with it till like yeah, you hook me in the throat you know. and I can't anymore. It's not just about the proceeds. Have you seen, have you seen, have you seen the series um, um, Breaking, Breaking Bad? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. um, obviously, I don't think it's that dramatic. That's a lot more comicalized. But because you just said me, you would go with it. You know, you what, would just break saying, up immediately. What I, what I mean go with it, I'm yeah. not saying go with the business because I've, okay. I wasn't Breaking in, Bad, it is different yeah. because he did not start as a first star. True. He was already married. You didn't know this person was a first star. No, so he wasn't. No, this star for the no, better was, part it was of a school his teacher. life. Yes. Yeah, he was a school teacher. This, this person you know, is point. different. This person this is one, a good scammer because i've also been scammed i've i've been <laughs> i've been in love with somebody who didn't who i'm just thinking of myself right now my fiance right now i found out that he's a scammer what would you do i don't think i would be able to leave immediately because i'm already Eventual, very eventually? emotionally attached Attachment. but i know that as soon as i find out the relationship is already done but i will stall in terms of i'm not going to sit here and say i'm going to immediately break up with no i'm not i'm going to try and figure out what it is and no, my, my life will be, be you also my life will be altered try exactly. to fix it try to solve it try to see how bad it is legally and if I'm protected, I'll be thinking about all of that stuff. I'm not going to be protected. Legally. You know, what, what is this thing? And I think it also depends on the measure of scamming we're talking about. And also about. the country involved. It's, wow. It's, it's scamming. I mean, it, it, it's mm -hmm. whatever level it is, it's still scamming. It's scamming. Yeah, and I said it, the it country really involved matter. as well. True. Because, wow. yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, the whole process might not be abrupt. Because, again, the danger in that is that, okay, let me try and see. Let me, let me change your mind. Mm. You know, I mean, let me see if I can but make will a you, stop. You know, the you most know. interesting question is that will you rat them out? No, no I, I, I wouldn't do that. That's, 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 I wouldn't yeah. do it. You no, I'm not going to do that. I would just save myself. Mm. From the, from yes, the situation. From whatever yeah. the, I mean, you end have to go. So this it won't be a turn to DK. That's it. I mean, All right. I think that's how wow. wrap up this <laughs> episode of Tea wow. Time. Thank you for watching. And you can watch this conversation all over again by visiting our YouTube channel, A Plus TV Africa. And please do subscribe. You can also watch Tea Time on Alto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always goes to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Benny Ak, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay with us.